My name is Aya Star. Yes, it is. I want you to know that. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, I'm Corey and I am a big fan of Game of Thrones and you are going to see why very very shortly but yeah so I'm going to be reacting to the first episode of season 7 and it will continue for the rest of the season as I would not be and I'd be such an idiot if I missed an episode but yeah let's just get into the video let's go but he's dead Are they gonna go back and explain how you're wondering? Did so Walter give us two feet oh, in a sh single fortnight. Oh shit, I think I know. <laughs> well, it's no good being Lord of the Riverlands if you can't celebrate with your family. That's, That's what I say. That's fucking Aya. He's gonna now kill them all. Winter has come. Yes, it has. But first, huh. a toast. She's gonna kill them all. Yes, Queen. I just stuck, badass bitch. Hell yeah. No, no. No, no. That was your mistake. <laughs> you should have written them all out. Root and stem. Aya. 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 Yes. 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 Tell them the North remembers. Woo! Tell them winter came for House Frey. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yes! Yes! What a start! What a freaking start! Look at that winter breeze. Who doesn't love winter in Game of Thrones? Just not in real life. Because it's cold as hell. Is that? What the fuck is that? Um. Shit, shit, shit. They're coming. Is that the freaking wall? I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. I might be small, Lord Glover, and I might be a girl, but I am every bit as much a northerner as you. Yes, you are, my lady. No one is And I don't need your permission to defend the north. Loyal families who supported us against Ramsay. Oh. Right. Right. I see Sansa's the second guess. And the Car Starks have fought beside the Starks for centuries. They've kept faith for generation after generation. And then they broke faith. Oh, I'm not going to strip shit. these families of their ancestral homes because of the crimes of a few reckless sons. Think he was a good king? Oh, Sansa, really? Joffrey? Think I'm Joffrey. As far from Joffrey as anyone I've ever met. Thank you. Thank you. Damn straight. Bend the knee or suffer the fate of all traitors. It's the same shit from the beginning. You've been so consumed with the enemy to the north, you've forgotten about the one to the south. I'm consumed with the Night King because I've seen him. Just... You afraid of me? I'm a little. Should I be? Probably. Your own Greyjoy didn't come here for that. No. What did he come here for? A queen. 
Oh. Pretenders in the north? Do you want to return? Bitch, what? Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. So here I am, with a thousand ships and two good hands. You've broken promises to allies before and murdered them at the nearest opportunity. You murdered your own brother. Uh-oh. Jesus. I was wondering, and every winter that ever came has ended. I have this bad feeling that the war is going to come down this season. That's the only way they're going to fight the night. Be a good lad. Clean this up. Just what his statement says makes me think the war's coming down. Maybe not this episode, maybe not for a couple of episodes, but I think it's coming down. And we all best be ready when it does. You're a lucky man. <laughs> oh, I recognize that voice. I know where that voice comes from. One and only Ed Sheeran. I've never heard it before. It's a new one. Are you hungry? We've got some rabbit. They're Lannister men, they're the nicest Lannister men there have been. I'm going to kill the Queen. <laughs> she just flat out said it. <laughs> and they all think she's joking, but I think she's dead serious. <laughs> that's, that was more coming from the chimney. That's the place he went to with Aya. Oh, sometimes he can be so good when he just goes... Come over here. Ugh, whatever, what the fuck do you want? Don't worry, the fire won't bite. There's no divine justice, you dumb cunt. If there was, you'd be dead. What do you see? Literally. I'm curious now. Ice. Ice. Shit. A wall of ice. Like the wall. The wall. It's where the wall meets the sea. There's a castle there. They're marching past. Oh, shit. Shit. And John literally just sent people to that castle. The free pick. Look at little Sam. Oh my god, it's so big. It's a map of Dragonstone. The Targaryens built their first stronghold there when they invaded Westeros. And? That's Dragonglass. A mountain of it. Beneath the ground, Stannis told me, but I didn't think this is important. John needs to know. That's where he meets Denny, because Denny goes to Dragonstone, correct? Oh, dead. I should come here. Hmm. The Dragon Queen. Oh, what? Nera Stormborn. Oh my god! I haven't heard anything. What? <gasps> okay, there's that hook for the season. Holy shit.
many years have we waited for Danny to sit on a throne in Westeros? It's so exciting and I'm so... Uh, that's where that room is! Oh, okay. Because we always saw that room, we never saw... We've barely seen much of Dragonstone. She still hasn't said a word. And I'm like... Shall we begin? Yes! Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I liked it, but I also had to like tell myself that it's just the first episode and we have six more of the season. I still can't believe there's only seven. But Game of Thrones is known to start off the season with like fleshing, like starting everyone's storylines for the season. And it can come across really slow, but at the same time have like really epic moments. So that episode had definitely had an epic ending with Danny finally go, let's begin. Arya at the start, like taking down all the Freys and then heading to King's Landing to kill the Queen. And the Ed Sheeran cameo, I did like I knew he was coming and I was so excited. But I didn't know exactly when he would be. So I really liked that he was in the first episode and his cameo was great. Like I really liked it. Dragon Glass in the bottom of Dragonstone. Sam is going to send a raven to John and say, well, you need to get to Dragonstone because all the dragon glass is in there. But who's at Dragonstone, may I say? Danny frickin' Targaryen. Oh, yes. Which brings their, like, meet together. Like, their, like the evidence of them meeting up. <sighs> I can't wait for that moment. <sighs> I am so excited for next week. I am totally going to watch the promo now because... I like to give you guys a bit of a treat, and I'm so curious to see what happens next week. A Targaryen cannot be trusted. Um, the Mad King's daughters will destroy the realm. We have an army, a fleet, and three dragons. We should hit King's Landing now. Okay, the tease is real. They are really not giving much away, showing anything at all. The tease is real, and I'm still hooked, and I'm pretty sure the millions and millions of people tuned in to watch this premiere and have watched that promo are still going to be hooked, whether or not they release 10 minutes of an episode online or 20 seconds of basically nothing, just ultimate tease. I'm ready. <sighs> anyway, anyway, I'm sorry I've talked so much. I'm so excited for next week. But yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, make sure you click subscribe to my channel, and also check in the description box, because all my social media links are there. But I think that's all I've got, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!